Eight mistakes to avoid when naming your business. You probably had no idea how stressful it was to come up with a business name until you had to rack your brain for one. The name of your business is like the foundation on which the entire structure lies. If you get it right, it'll position your brand correctly because it will represent your ideas in a way that everyone will understand. Seth Gordon, an American author and former dot-com business executive, said, a brand is the set of expectations, memories, stories and relationships that taken together account for a customer's decision to choose one product or service over another. Once you choose the right name, you won't have to worry about trying to change it later or dealing with trademarks and infringement issues. So, in this video, I'll share with you 8 mistakes to avoid when naming your business. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Don't copy a well-known name Chances are you want to use a well-known name so that when people are searching for the brand, they may find your business in the process. But hold on a minute. No one likes a copycat. Not even you. Okay, maybe you need to play that scene in your head. Would you be willing to check out a business that has a similar name with your favorite brand? Or would you walk away because, well, you got irritated? Which will it be? I guess you'll walk past. Also, not only will you look lazy and unoriginal in coming up with a name, but you might end up landing yourself in some trademark infringement troubles in the future. You see, the whole point of naming your brand is so that people can easily point out the great things your brand can do. They can get talking about your brand. So, tapping from a well-known brand's rep without meeting up with the standards or expectations delivered by the other brand will only leave customers disappointed. The bottom line here is that be original. 2. Don't choose a name that is too hard to pronounce. If you can't say it, you won't be able to remember it. And if people can't remember it, they wouldn't come to you to buy, nor will they be able to refer others to patronize you. We get it. You want to be smart and clever so that your business will be distinguished. But don't make it too complicated that your customers find it difficult to remember your business name. 3. Don't choose a name that's too difficult to spell. Alongside not making your business name too hard to pronounce, it should also not be too difficult to spell. In an era where people want to validate information about a business before going ahead to make a purchase, you want to ensure that you are not so difficult to find when people try to Google your business or when they try to check you out on their various social media platforms. For instance, an example cited on Business Knows How says, if you choose the name Flocky Nohini Pilification Company, few people remember to pass along or find it on the web. It is a word that means non-existence. And that's probably what would happen to any business using it, or anything even half that length as their name. 4. Don't pick a name that limits your business growth. Choose a name that is wide-ranged enough to give room for your business to grow. For instance, imagine giving your business a name that is confined to a particular location, such as Swellview Dry Cleaners. What happens when you decide to leave Swellview? Or if you have to open a different branch? And the likes. Does that mean you have to rename the business or discard the entire idea of growth? Also, imagine naming your clothing brand Amy Casuals or Leonard Casuals. What happens when you decide to expand your clothing line? so that you can accommodate different type of clothings like suits and workwear, dinnerware and the likes. Avoid giving your business name something that is restricted to location, trend, a singular product or service such as Renee's TV. That way, you'll give your business room to grow. 5. Don't pick a name that can go obsolete. We get it, you want people to know what you stand for once they hear your business name but try not to bring the active ingredient into your business name because it might become obsolete. For instance, imagine a name like Radio Shack. What do you think happened to the company when smartphones and MP3 took over the market? It must have struggled for relevance. So you see why you should not go with trends or anything else that can go obsolete. 6. Don't make the business about you, but about the benefits the customers can get. Young entrepreneurs make these mistakes more often. Your business name should reflect the benefits your customers stand to gain, not your interest or your plans. 7. 
Don't use unusual spellings of words. Imagine someone who remembers your business name but doesn't know the location going online to search for a business name that says Cakes and Crafts but is spelled Cakes and Crafts. Complicated, right? I know. In a bid to make your business unique, don't fall prey of coming up with different spellings that are completely different from the norm. You'll only succeed in confusing people that want to search about your business or write it down for easy remembrance. 8. Don't choose a name that is too generic. That you do not want to go for a business name that will limit the growth of the business doesn't mean you should go for something that is too generic and doesn't give any sense of what you do. To someone who doesn't know the business, it might be a little difficult to know what kind of product or services you render just from hearing the name. Stay away from acronyms and the likes. Besides, a generic name will make it difficult to buy the domain name and to register the name for social media accounts. So, stare clear. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.